Hello there guys and welcome to your Rust update on the 1st of November 2018. Get ready to get high with the update tonight. Hot air balloons are now in the game. They will spawn randomly across the map, more or less will spawn depending on the map size. You'll need to grab yourself some low grade fuel if you wish to take to the skies. Low grade fuel will be the least of your worries, flying a balloon is not very easy. Mostly because you can actually steer them. You can, however, see the windsock. This points in the direction that you will go, alternating between rotating clockwise and counterclockwise, depending on whether you have the ignition on or off. You can attempt to keep the balloon steady, staying in one direction, by starting ignition and ending it, keeping the windsock going in that one direction. An ignition will stop automatically after being on for one minute. Balloons will decay when left outside, however getting one inside will be quite the struggle. You can repair a balloon with cloth, even whilst flying. With players now being able to gracefully float through the air, the scientists over at the compound have something to help you bring them back down to earth. Samsite turrets. They are purchasable from the compound for 500 scrap. They are able to target in all 360 degrees and have pretty good range. They can be destroyed by explosives, guns or tools. However, they can be repaired for metal frags and high quality metal. They must be placed on a foundation or a floor. They take their own special ammo, SAM ammo. These are shot in bursts of six. Sam ammo can be purchased from the compound, costing 75 scrap for 6. Different to the Sam site turret itself, you can actually research the ammo. 30 gunpowder and 1 pipe will craft 6. It costs 75 scrap to research, and you'll need yourself a level 2 workbench to craft them. This week we also have some nerfs. The tactical glove is not quite as good as it once was. It now reduces aim sway by only 80% rather than 100%. We've also got a nerf to the L96. It now has less durability and it now costs 700 scrap instead of 500 from the bandit town. Work has gone on over the past month to bring in a new variation to the cargo ship. It has a slightly different layout on deck. Alongside this you'll also be able to go under the deck on both versions of the cargo ship which holds even more loot. Whilst we're on the subject of boats, we also now have a new rowboat model in game. Looking forward to future updates, we have some work starting in a couple of interesting branches. An oil rig branch has started over the past week, which hopefully means soon we will have a static monument based at sea. Work on a jumpsuit branch also cropped up very recently. I'm hoping this has more to do with jumping from the balloon and other high areas rather than trying to increase fashion in Rust. Today we'll also see the end of the Halloween additions to the game. As much as they were enjoyed, you'll have to wait until next year to get some more spooky goings on. That is everything that I have for you guys, and I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you hit that like button, and if you would like to see more content, make sure that you are subscribed. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day.